Hello my soccer universe, last one, we are at part 8 of the World Cup jersey review. Group H, which is in many ways the most World cup -y group, because we have four teams from four different federations, which is always a fun thing to have. Only two suppliers too, it's all Nike against Puma. Decided to wear my new Ghana home jersey, finally have one. And yeah, um, I'll go through this group. As it was seeded, we have, we start with Portugal, then we go with Ghana, then Uruguay, and we end with South Korea. Every jersey gets a grade from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. And I would say, let's get right in with the new Portugal home jersey, which has this awful template from Nike with the beep here that I have been bemoaning a lot. However, uh, like with the Brazil away jersey, you don't see it here, so that's fine. I have a much bigger problem with the execution of this jersey. I do like a little bit green on there. There's too much green on here uh, with this diagonal thing. And yes, the idea is that it should look like you have the flag draped all over you. Give me a break. It looks awful. <laughs> it really does not cut it. It's a sliced jer jersey. Um, and yes, most of the time it's worn with green pants. I like Portugal red with green pants. I don't want to see red, red, red uh, all through red with green pants. Really nice. However, this jersey leaves a lot to be desired. Really a lot. I think putting you know make a green tail make a green but you know we had this before i know nike wants to do some something different it completely detracts from from the fact that we're actually getting uh yellow accents on there not white ones i really like like it for portugal also yellow numbers although they're a little bit weird and elongated uh the eight turns looks like upside down and so on so yeah, uh, positives and negatives. However, the design, it just does not cut it for me. Uh, I even would say, don't do the beeping green. But you know, make it uh, red with green shoulders. I actually think they have, you, this I would look like much better than... Uh, nah, nah, can't do that. Can't do that, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's a three. The away jersey though, uh, is a whole lot nicer I gotta say uh, my problem with that one is that uh, there are two ideas in one shirt with a number I find it so genius that the number fits in the green box of the flag I also like the white jersey with the Portugal chest across I also like and that's why I put the white jersey up up there the white jersey in blue because those are the traditional that those are the royal colors from Port of Portugal. Just decide on one idea. Either go the cream colored with the blue or go cream colored with the Portuguese flag. Don't give me both of these. To me this is just a step too far. Uh, it, it lacks cohesion in that sense. Other than that I I really like the idea of what they're doing here. It's not a bad shirt by any means. It's just, you know, you could make, if you make the sleeve cuffs, for instance, red or green, you get a complete, uh, you get a jersey that feels more unified, more Portugal. Uh, likewise, if you take out the, uh, the chest band and it's just a cream colored uh, jersey with the blue uh, cuffs, I actually think it would look real class as well. Simple yet classy but you mix it up too much. I mean, it's still a jersey that I was looking at and I'm saying, yeah, actually, if you get a name set on that ball, like a Rafael Leal, that actually might look really good. This, there is something about it. Again, because there are too many ideas on it, uh, I will not give it a really high grade, but I think a seven to me seems appropriate. Let's switch over to the Puma jerseys and let's go with the team that I'm wearing in Ghana. The Ghana home jersey uh, does what the Ghana home jersey should do. It is white, it has flag cuffs, the color look looks a little bit weird, but it has the black star. Uh, yes, this one doesn't ha has many black stars, but this one has one big black star, which I like. 
Yes, the Federation Crest probably could use a little bit work, although the soccer ball doesn't bother me that much here, but I think we could do a little bit better here, I think. Other than that, I think it's a really fine uh, jersey without it being exciting. It also uses the Ultra Reef template, but a better color. So uh, in that sense, all fine by me. I'm gonna give this, it's a useful jersey. It's not a super exciting jersey, but I'm gonna give this a six star. However, the away jersey, like for Switzerland, if you just give me the box up here, we might still talk about logo placement and so on, but if you just give me what's below the Puma logo, I think I might be all right. But making it this shield or this box that is so square makes this jersey a rather ugly one. I do like what they have done. You know, they have the Black Star, they have the Ghana Federation Crest. I'm not sure if we needed the Ghana lettering in there and I actually probably would have switched it for balance. But you know, a little bit of tribal pattern in there is all right. Again, the, the red center stripe makes no sense. And I know Puma wanted to put themselves on the map, so they are outside of the box. But it's the box that really, really annoys me here. This is where the box does not work for me. This is it, this does not work, this jersey, like at all. It's a three star. And let's get out of here. And we'll move to another Puma team in uh, Uruguay. Their home jersey, I actually, while I think with the black pants, it's probably nicer if a Uruguay home jersey like the 2018 one has black accents. I actually don't mind the light accents because it also fits nicely with the crest and the gold. And then if it's worn with black pants, it actually pairs off quite nicely. Also, the Uruguay flag is blue and white, so uh, makes all sense. I think as far as Puma jerseys go, it's a really really nice one the color is class like we had for france or brazil who were with nike the jersey looks simple uh all good here i think i cannot complain this is all good to me eight stars i don't want to say more now the away jersey is one where i'm going so much back and forth whether i like it or dislike it uh and it again comes down to the box in a way, but I think that the way that the box here is a shield makes me like it more. What I'm not sure is uh, why the, um, those stripes going down the middle, those are a little bit off, but I actually like we have the crest that fits nicely in there. Maybe the box could have, uh, could have taken the shape from the crest that might make it even a little bit better. So instead of going, oops, a little bit more rounded going down. Um, I think that might have looked looked better. I like that there's Uruguay and there's Uruguay flag on there. So I mean, uh, it doesn't look bad. I also think that having the stripes there is kind of made doesn't makes the box not so floaty. But on the other side, I find those stripes a little bit superfluous. Uh, it's really a Marmite jersey, uh, but I think. I'm here more on the like side, believe it or not. I really like the sleeves and the collar. <sighs> and again, there's Yuru in there, uh, which I think that the, this is the genius touch here that the freaking box is not empty if you don't get a name set. But yeah, it's... Uh, I'm gonna go six. I'm gonna go six. There is something about this that I like and I know that many of you will disagree with me. Let's move over to South Korea, uh, who I don't get. Uh, tiger stripes, great. This jersey has tiger stripes. Why black? Why do you take out all the joy? I think uh, Ever since the last World Cup, South Korea jerseys for me lost their joy. If we had a blue here, a blue color, and you know, a little bit, uh, it makes it instantly look much nicer, a little bit more vibrant. But this black, and I gotta give it, I mean, the the all red look, it has strong, but uh, it, it's, and, and red and black is my favorite color, one of my favorite color combinations. I mean, Milan fan. It just doesn't look right. It looks life. It, it, it looks so in your face and at the same time lifeless that uh, it's not Korea to me. 
Uh, it's a real shame in many ways. I don't like this one. I really, really do not like this one. Um, despite tiger stripes and so on. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to say. To me, it's it's not it's not a good jersey, and the pants with it even worse. Three stars for that one. However, the away jersey that's a completely different. Uh, it gives me the vibes of the Leipzig jersey that they had last season. The away jersey, uh, however, it's more colorful. Um, yes, probably a white one would be better with the still darkish looking home jersey. But this one looks cool. Again, the beep is there. We cannot deny it. Although it's also a little bit hidden. But you know, we could have done there a little bit better. Use maybe a button collar to not have it. So it takes it down a notch. But all these colors and you know, the, um, can totally get around to that one. This is vibrant. This is fun. The crest is also very vi visible. I am still. Still going back and forth whether it's a good or a bad crest. Uh, and it's mainly the eyes of the tiger that bug me. However, this is an outstanding jersey. I gotta give it. I, actually, I would go as far to say I like this better than the Brazil away. Um, let's leave it at nine stars. And mourn the fact that this is not worn during the World Cup, most likely. Any case, that concludes the entire jersey review for me. Let me know which of these jerseys I showed you here you liked and disliked and where you agree and disagree with me, Uruguay, I guess. Uh, overall, I also would like to know what's your favorite jersey at this World Cup. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.